Hey everyone, my name is Siobhan and welcome back to PC Building Simulator. I, as I remember, last week we tried to build a PC for a person. Uh, somebody pre-ordered a PC from us with a certain budget. And we're gonna do that just today. And I'm gonna show you what we need, the components that we need, the hardware that we need to build a PC. Let's get to it. We can try to build a new PC for them. We have the budget, we have around 1000 dollars and they have a budget of oops gonna put it there 750 so we're gonna order the parts now i'm gonna show you how to build a pc from this pc building simulator look i don't know much about building a pc but i can figure out a way uh, to or two and i hope that i don't build it like the verge all right this seems like the cheapest one oh this one is nice they have a side panel this one doesn't have a side panel. Can I add that to cart? Oh shit. Uh, remove this? Alright, $40 worth of case should be good enough. A case, we are done with our PC case. That's number one. And two, power supply. Of course we have, we have a lot of cables, so I don't think we need that for now. Alright, I would recommend not using the minimum minimum power supply but uh 550 should be good enough and storage she's she says something about storage at least 500 gigabyte of storage no problem i'll give you one terabyte because it's just 60 dollars which is very cheap um graphic card all right this is the hard one i think i'm gonna buy for her <gasps> wait it's here the gt series is here I almost bought this one before I I bought my 1060. Thank goodness I didn't. But it's a good graphic card. But this person doesn't require like a massive amount of graphic card because she's not playing video game. I could have just assumed what are what is your name? Orient Express, I don't know. He or she doesn't require a graphic card. But we're going to give it to her anyway because uh, you know, make making things easier for her. Her budget is her budget is okay 750 i should be enough there's a lot of types of motherboard like the chipset is different or whatever the socket is different sorry i don't know what i'm saying i don't build pc myself but i know the components and stuff like that all right i would recommend for her ryzen him or her and then we're gonna buy ryzen for her all right that's already 430 Ryzen because Ryzen is technically better and cheaper compared to uh, Intel. I would recommend buying AMD for now. All right, she doesn't say anything about what she wants, so I guess this one should be good enough. CPU cooling, maybe we need a basic one. She doesn't say anything about. And you know what? Let's buy Cryric uh, M9A. This is nice for her. I thought there was like DDR3 or DDR2 in here because this is all stuff, but apparently not. Getting two of these. Wait, what's the cheapest 8 gigabyte? This one. Getting two of these should be enough. We have one. We have the case. And we have power supply. We have storage at least one terabyte actually she asked for 500 gigabyte but whatever we're good just gonna give him her uh one terabyte and 750 ti at least our motherboard ours uh then we have motherboard that's number five wait one two three four five yeah and then our processor our cpu cooling important and our memory she needs at least 16 gigabyte right her budget was 750 labor 200 yeah all right this is 720 so it's good enough for her it's good enough it's it covers the budget all right by that Ooh, and we are gonna wait for the pc to arrive and now we are building our first pc first we have the case just work on it like anything else it's so clean it's so fresh look at it oh my goodness look 
Oh yeah. Can you smell that? Ah. Like like people in my country, we always say if there's something new, we always say bao china. It smells like Chinese. I don't know why. I'm a Chinese, but I don't know why they say that. Okay, first you have to install your motherboard. All right. <sighs> Put this thing in was this the holder or something then you put your motherboard inside nicely done then we remove this one you now why we remove it because we actually need to put a uh, space wall for our graphic card oh open it mm, mm, mm. all right put the md here close it nicely done with the thermal paste i don't want to forget to put it so i always put it first and then um motherboard memory what did i order for you actually uh, oh no i ordered 16 gigabyte of ram for you so it's this and another g skills uh, open all right maybe it's a noob mistake but i should put this one tree and then but it works fine because they're not a kid right did i be concerned so usually people would put if they have four ram slot people would put uh the ram in the first slot and then the third or they could put it in on the second slot and then the fourth it works like that. I don't know. I don't work the magic. Don't ask me. And then why am I doing this, right? <laughs> I don't even know. Alright, now we install the cooler, I think. Is everything's done, I think. Yeah, everything is done over here. Put it there. Uh, cable. Remember to connect your CPU cooler always. Uh, what's this? Okay, my power supply. Alright, I have almost forgot power supply. Put you... Where? Put you here. There you go. Put those in. Uh-huh. Power supply. Yes. Alright, it's dangerous to connect the cables first, so better don't do that. Alright. Uh, we handle the power supply later. And then graphic card. I ordered for you 7... 750 oh dang it why did i open the first pci slot Ugh. all right remove you uh can i install back some of it just in case i forgot so put this here why did i open there like i could have seen it why did i open another one okay okay it's just a uh, one one cover okay put it back put another one back nice all right graphic card we have you know why i order graphic card is usually amd oh locked it yep because amd uh cpu usually doesn't have integrated graphic card it's just intel that have it so you gotta spend more money on graphic card for it like only some of the amd graphic card have integrated graphics so you have to really look for it Anyway, what do I miss? Wait, no, 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 no. Cables. Plastic black, yeah. Makes it look cool. Cool, cool, cool. And then remember to always connect your. This fan came together with the case, so remember uh, to plug it in the motherboard so it works, you know, just in case. Storage. I accidentally sold the storage to the other guy because I didn't order for him. <laughs> what landlord rent? Your rent is now due. You owe us five hundred dollars. Okay, fine. Gee, forgot about that. Usually people will put storage on the other panel. You see this? <sighs> Dang it. Okay, switch. You see this drive bay? Yeah. You put your hard disk here. There you go and then you close it and always remember don't forget the cable or always connect your cable with the power supply and also the motherboard because they are connected together 
side panel at the back close it we don't want dust to get in and you know what okay yeah. we need this for our os and close this i'm pretty confident that this build is ready i put yeah i put yeah i think i put the thermal paste already with the thermal paste i don't want to forget to put it so i always put it first all right enter bios come on let's boot it up and we have our first built I, I think I built this first with my own hand. It works. Ah! <sighs> oh my gosh! How do I do this? Here you go. <gasps> Whoa! I only spent six hundred and ninety dollars on this. And kids, that's how you build your PC. You have to have your case. Your motherboard, your CPU, your CPU cooler. It usually when you buy CPU, it came with a stock cooler, so you don't actually have to buy those. Uh, it's a cheaper cooler. It performs okay, but I recommend to get a third-party uh, CPU cooler because it tends to go overheat very fast. And your graphic card because sometimes your CPU doesn't doesn't have integrated graphic. Your power supply is very important, don't forget about that. Also, your storage is the most important, of course, how how it can boot up if there's no storage. And this is our first PC. It's ready for the owner. And I guess that's the episode for today. And I'll see you guys next time building another one or fixing other people's PC some more. And uh, maybe I should build my dream PC in here also, but I haven't unlocked all the components yet. Neither do I know where to do it. This is not the last time you will see me. You will see me pretty often. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!